We are Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm still Spencer. And I remain Daniel. We got our good friend Randy Feltface back on the channel Hell for the yes. second time. Uh, he's talking about drugs today. Now, let me just say, the bookshelf <laughs> off Gumtree is one of the funniest things I think we've ever checked out on ETS. And the yeah. fact that it was such a slow burn. Yeah. Like, just... It didn't get an audience immediately. It took so long for everybody to find it. Breaks my heart. Yeah, it's tough, man. It's a tough sell when you're like, this is hilarious. You put it out there, it's like, no response. You're like, yeah, am yeah. I broken? And that's, yes, it, that's a yes, that's a yes. <laughs> that's a, that's a yes. But then again, most of our audience is British and Randy Fellface is Australian. Yeah. Many people in our niche have made separate Australian channels. So maybe that's what we need to do. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. They loved Rodney Rude. They loved um oh my Jim god Jeffries. Jim Jeffries Jeffries they loved what's his name Dilly Gaff oh Kevin Blady Wilson and so it's just like oh man it's tough but anyway here he is R rant over let's hear him talk about drugs <laughs> yeah <laughs> three two one drugs <laughs> drugs I don't do drugs my privileged opinion of drug use is that productivity is more important than escapism and also, I'm wired in such a way that if I even so much as look at a drug, I will be doing speed off a strip club toilet seat within two to three hours. <laughs> so my opinion is, I should not do drugs. But then I went to Canada. <laughs> Okay, okay, before he does that, I'm gonna give him credit for recognizing that he can't do drugs and that if he does one, he'll do 13. Yeah, and he can't get him off the karaoke machine. He is, he is not for the uh, just try, try it once. He's not him, that's not him. You can't just have one French fry, he has nope. to have the whole bag, all of it, all of it. Oh, yeah. But what about Canada? Is it going to be Blame Canada? <sighs> Best song ever. But yeah, I bet. I, it has to be. Come on. Yeah. Come on now. God. Anytime you walk down the street in any Canadian city, you're constantly getting crop dusted with clouds of delicious smelling marijuana smoke because weed is legal there. So people walk around punching blunts like they're at a fucking folk festival. <laughs> I was in Quebec City for two days and I started following pot smokers down the street like a cartoon character floating towards a pie on a windowsill. <laughs> <laughs> so I changed my opinion and decided I should do drugs. Has anybody here actually been to Quebec City? Anyone? It's a beautiful part of the world, isn't it? Bit confusing. French-speaking Canadians ruled by the Queen of England. Pick a fucking lane. <laughs> but I was doing shows there and I was like, I'm not going to seek drugs out, but if somebody offers me drugs, I'll definitely take them. And uh, sure enough, after a show one night, I was approached by some youths. Some youths approached me and they offered me a brownie. Now, they're very fond of edible drugs in that part of the world. The pot brownie and the hash cookie and the weed cake and the wacky tobacco toasted sangy. And <laughs> these youths offered me a brownie the size of a fucking John Grisham novel. So I said, yes! <laughs> Thank you! Ah, oh, man. That, I gotta say, look, when the times that I did do them, I, just, I mean, if it's around, I may take one hit. But... That was my favorite way to do it, was the edibles. And how do you think I got so good at baking? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, that's right. Like, ah. it's, now that stuff's legal in your state. So it is. Um, I'm up. And uh, if you want to take go. a drive, uh, don't show this to your wife. Nope. She doesn't watch us anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she lives it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, man. Um, you use. And I took it back to my hotel room and I put on some comfortable trousers, put a bit of King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard on Spotify. <laughs> what? And I haven't done drugs for about nine years at this point, so I didn't want to go too hard. So I just broke off a tiny corner of this massive brownie and just had a little... 
Tea still in ocean nomination, I'm sure. Tiny little. Because I didn't want to go too hard. But then, after like 10 minutes, nothing happened. So I ate the whole thing. Oh. Really fast. That. Oh my God. And. I don't even know how old this Randy Feltface guy because he's a damn puppet. So I can't, you know, roast him for not having experience with this. But everybody knows you don't eat the whole brownie nope. or the whole cookie or whole cake. You take a bit of it and you wait a half hour for yep. stuff to happen. Because for Randy Feltface, it's about to be tomorrow. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah. Like there were cops at the door. I was like, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <clears throat> and um, then I googled how long it normally takes for a pot brownie to kick in. <laughs> Does anybody want to share with the class how long it normally takes for a pot brownie to kick in? Does anybody know? About an hour? Yeah, about an hour. I was like, oh, I'm going to die in this hotel room. <laughs> I started getting my affairs in order. Cancelled my subscriptions to Yoga Glow and Chatterbait. Started putting a PowerPoint presentation together for my own funeral service. And then, after like 75 minutes, I realised it was just a fucking brownie. <laughs> it just a regular old drug-free chocolate brownie lovingly prepared by the youths of Canada just to be fucking innocently distributed amongst the tourists. So now my opinion is Canadians are fucking idiots. <laughs> it was just uh... a regular brownie. <laughs> I, I heard too. the Canadians are nice. But, except the French Canadians, so apparently they aren't nice, but <sighs> apparently those two were, and they're, f they're idiots. I love that. I love that. He, f he faked himself out, man. <laughs> like, here down in the South, we, don't even, we only do that if we know you. They're not just strangers. <sighs> I mean, if you're broken down, we've got to know you a little bit, and kind of, you know, screened you out. Maybe we'll do that, but not to a stranger off the street. I, I love that he wanted the youth to be all twisted and jacked up. And like, oh, there has to be drugs in this. He eats <laughs> the whole thing and they're just regular fucking brownies. <laughs> he ate, uh, instead of having a drug moment, he had a diabetes moment. Yeah, I love it that. Diabetes. Just straight up, he had a fat moment. He wanted to have a drug moment. He had a fat moment. Instead yeah, of he, a high, he just felt shame. <laughs> love yeah. that. Right. He didn't need to get his affairs in order. He just maybe just needed to brush his teeth afterwards. Yeah. You know, that's oh. it. <laughs> that's so annoying. I couldn't imagine how stressed you would be. How stressed? Mm. Like, like, uh oh, uh oh, shit. And then you get all paranoid and freaked out and then you're like it's a regular brownie and so yeah. <laughs> just, all that stress for nothing yeah oh, man. i mean look stress spelled backwards is desserts so very true very true guys makes sense that it would happen to <laughs> someone like that yes 100 oh, man. man but this was great man I, I yeah, anyway him. yeah i i love him i love him i think i i think we need more of him on the channel personally yeah because this is automatic two thumbs yeah, up this was great. like a lot of us have y'all have asked under the uh, bookshelf gum tree thing to do the full special. I, I think maybe one of these days. I mean, y'all know on Saturdays we do the long documentaries. Yep. Um, once we've exhausted those, maybe we'll move on to stand up, uh, long stand up specials that could go through the YouTube filters. That's the um, other thing. That's the yeah. other thing. Circle back in about yeah. six months. How about yeah. that? I feel I feel like that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Anyway, y'all, there's somewhere around to subscribe and watch another video. Wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, brace the suck. Unplug and do something epic, guys. <laughs> See you next time. Later. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Let's do this.